Hello and welcome to the Ken Seelan Waterloo Region Museum's virtual field trip. Today we're going to be talking about what life was like in this area 100 to 200 years ago. Now 100 to 200 years ago we had three groups of people living here. We had the black settlers who were mostly escaped slaves coming up from the United States. We had the First Nations people who were the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe people. And we had the early Europeans who were the Mennonites coming to this area. Now, the Haudenosaunee, sometimes called the Iroquois or the Six Nations, and the Anishinaabe, sometimes called the Ojibwe, had been living on this land for thousands of years. When the early Europeans and the black settlers came to this area, they brought some of their ideas along with them. Together, the three groups shared the ideas that they had about how to live best in this new country. Now, if you take a look down here, you can see one of the things that the First Nations people taught both the black settlers and the early Europeans how to make. It's a canoe. Canoes were really great for the Canadian waterways because they could go through shallow and narrow passages. The big European ships weren't able to make that drive, so this was a great thing for the First Nations to teach the Europeans how to use. The Europeans, in turn, taught the First Nations how to make metal tools. So you can see this axe right here, it's made out of a metal, so it's a much stronger, sturdier tool that can make their work easier. The First Nations also taught the Europeans how to grow plants. So you can see we have the three sisters represented right here. The three sisters are corns, beans, and squash. Now the plants that the Europeans and the black settlers brought with them were used to different climates and different weather. So the First Nations, who had mastered how to grow these plants, were able to teach the Europeans how to do so. The Europeans also taught the First Nations how to build a different type of house. These are smaller homes, unlike the long houses that a lot of people think the First Nations were living in one to two hundred years ago. They, the First Nations, also taught the Europeans how to live in some of our Canadian climates. I don't know about you, but our winters can get pretty snowy, and snowshoes came in handy in a very cold, spread out country. So, the First Nations taught the Europeans how to make and use snowshoes they could get around during the winter time. Now, language can be a barrier for people to communicate and share their ideas and share their experiences. But another barrier could have been physical distance. They were too far apart sometimes to share their ideas with their friends and families. And that brings us to what we would like to invite you to try today. Maybe there's somebody that you're feeling far apart from. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a family member. It could be anyone that you miss seeing in your life right now. We want you to find a way to interview them. So maybe you're gonna phone call them, maybe you're gonna send them an email, maybe it's FaceTime, maybe it's anything you can come up with as a way that you can find those people and interview them. Ask them some questions about what they're doing and get connected. Share ideas back and forth. Enjoy.